Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Salah. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how I have created this rotating effect which you just saw in the intro. I did use this effect in one of my recent videos where a bunch of people asked me how to do it. I wanted to do it for a long time but I was busy uh, doing nothing. Uh, so today is the day when I decided let's do something. So why not just start with this tutorial? and what else yeah the footage i'm going to edit will be linked in the description if you want to download and follow along be my guest and i'll be using davinci resolve as my editing software but you can use any editing software it doesn't matter yeah i should stop talking let's jump to the tutorial shall we so i have these two clips here both are color corrected i will stack them on top of each other first I will reverse both clips to do that I will right click on the first clip select change clip speed and then choose reverse speed why I'm doing this because in my opinion this effect will look more dynamic like camera is moving backward with rotation after you done that disable the first clip by pressing D on the keyboard and do the same for the second clip select change clip speed and then choose reverse speed next what you want to do is click on the first clip and press t on the keyboard again to activate it select both clips right click and select new fusion clip now click on the fusion page at the bottom now you can see both clips are connected to a merge node and the merge node is connected to the media out to identify which clip is which go to the top and make sure your viewer window is open if it's not click on it drag the clip to your left window to see which clip is that like let's suppose media 2 is the clip from the beach now what I'm going to do is I will press F2 on the keyboard and rename it to stay organized and same thing I will do with the second clip. Either you can do right click on the node and choose rename or press F2 on the keyboard whichever suits you. So at the moment this clip from the beach is connected to the merge node as a foreground. Since I want to use this clip as a revealing shot I will connect it as the background. To do that, unplug the clip from the foreground and connect it to the background of the merge, which is yellow. Now I will plug the second clip into the foreground of the merge. After that, I will arrange my notes. Now I will click on my second clip and hit shift plus spacebar to search for the transform node. After this, I will drag a rectangular mask and connect it to this first clip. I am adjusting the mask of the first clip. So the goal here is leaving some of the sky visible so I can blend it with the sky of the second clip. After that, click on the transform node again. And on your right hand side, there will be an inspector tab. If it's not open, then it will be on the top right hand corner. Click on it and go to angle, type 180 and adjust the center Y to about this much. Next, what I'm going to do is click on the rectangular mask, go to the inspector tab again and increase the soft edge and border width to find a sweet spot where both skies blend together nicely. Alright, so now I will click on the second clip and which is the footage of the beach and hit shift plus spacebar to add color corrector node. Now we need to blend the colors of the sky. You can adjust the colors according to your footage but in my scenario I will reduce the saturation and keyframe it. 
Now I will tweak the mask of the bottom clip by adjusting the soft edge and border width. That's looking pretty good. I'll come back at the end if I need to tweak the setting more. Now we need to make the animation for that. Come down here, click on the merge node, hit shift spacebar, and this time select transform node. You can get transform node from here as well. I can still see the second clip at the top. Instead of scaling up to hide it, just letting you know we'll be scaling the image anyway when we rotate the composition. So what I like to do is I will add a cinematic bars so I don't have to scale too much during rotation. If you want to add cinematic bars for that, go back to the edit page again, click on the timeline and go to output blanking and then select ratio 2.35. Alright, now return to the fusion page. Click on the transform node, go to the first frame and keyframe center and angle slightly increase the size and keyframe it. Then I will go to the end where I want the rotation to finish. I will set the angle to 180 and keyframe it and adjust the center y value to about here just wanted to check if these bars are covering the bottom part yeah looks good next i will scroll through the timeline and wherever i need to adjust center x y position and size of the composition i will do it I will try to scale as minimum as possible to avoid losing image and maintaining a natural look is the purpose here. And the changes I'm making will automatically add keyframes since I set them at the start and the end of the transform node. Once you're done keyframing your rotation animation, what you want to do is click on the top right hand corner there's a tab called spline and then select transform that you used for the rotation of the animation in my case it's transform 2 then select all the keyframes and hit shift s what it will do is it will smooth out all your keyframes in the end, I will tweak my colors by clicking on the color corrector and try to match it with the second clip as closely as possible. Then I will adjust the mask of the first clip. After these adjustments, this is the final result. I hope you like this video and if you have any question, please let me know in the comments. For now, that's it. I'll see you in the next one.